All right, BK from ManforWars.com, ManforWars Media. Let's press the stop button. Anyway, um, promoting play patriotism, ManforWars.com. Nice ladies and gents worldwide, offline, teach kids to be. And uh, locally discuss cheer great online info they find online. It is 3.06 p.m. Monday, April, or Saturday, April 18th. Downtown Toronto, Canada, Young and College. And uh, we'll continue. It's not about me being an asshole to a bunch of miserable lying bitches begging to be broken who would like to be ignored or shit on and want to stop. It's about millions of people on HD video who you do that, which proves that. Or they're super nice to me because I'm super nice to them because they know how seriously I take it. Really, super nice, right? Super nice. Guys straight up cool, girls the same or friendly, right? Why? Because you do not talk about Fight Club in mixed or mixed up company. But you, otherwise you do talk about it. If men don't, they suck at it. They do, everyone respects them. But they got the balls to do that and the discipline to know when and when not to. That's all. You're at dinner with the wife and with other, three other, four other couples. You're all chatting about this and that. Then the girls want to get together, look at the photo album. You guys want to get in the backyard, smoke some cigars, drink some beers. You start talking about Fight Club. The girls hear you, they like it, they don't care. The girl comes over, honey, we're going to leave in about an hour. Would you guys like some coffee? We may have to sober up. Oh, sure, baby, that'd be great. Thank you, okay, we'll make you guys some coffee. How's the photo album? It's great. Oh, you guys having fun? Yeah, oh yeah. Then the girls go look at the photo album. You guys get back talking about some real shit. Not like stupid, lying, sketchy bitches who can't do anything else. And it's fine. And everyone respects you. From the balls to do that, and the discipline to know when and when not to. Excuse me. Gentlemen, welcome to Canadian Fight Club. You guys make sure you're cool. You're not impotent while someone's a mess. You're not a mess while someone's impotent. If it's your own, fix it or tell it to stop. Say what's wrong. If it's a stranger, just someone whose people it knows are, are happy it's not bothering them. They're happy it's bothering strangers instead. Like the zombie. Zombie will follow nice people around, trying to force it to see you, force you to see it look like a, a pretend ugly girlfriend. Force it to see you look sketchy and ugly and feel sorry for itself. But nobody gives a shit about it because it bothers people. It doesn't matter if feels sorry for itself. Who gives a shit about someone who bothers you? If you do feel sorry for yourself. Bullshit. The Canadian Fight Club. Give us less assholes and more donuts or give us death. Like Patrick Henry's give me liberty or give me death. But we're Canadian. And the cops want less assholes to deal with and more donuts to eat just like the rest of us. And if we have less assholes in public, we'll have less assholes in power. We'll have more donuts to eat. Either donuts that we are given or donuts that we are allowed to make and be creative. And then we'll make Krispy Kremes taste like crap. Because we'll be free in an abundance economy. Where we have more resources and technology and goodwill of people to leverage that. Not everyone has to use less. Government gives you one donut a month. Oh, no shortage. Now one donut every six months. The fuck is this communism shit? Big box communism. Thing which another communist can't have bread line. That's dog shit. You use English, it starts acting sketchy. It's freaking out on you. That's more dog shit. Trying to follow a nice person. Try to trick people to see it look like shit, like it's a nice person. That's dog shit. That dog shit, no one wants to look at that rude, sketchy dog shit on a stick. That has to force people to put up with it like some stupid kid that put a stick in some dog shit and then runs near people trying to make it look at it. Hey, look, look, dog shit on a stick. That's dog shit on a stick. You keep an eye out for that dog shit on a stick, following nice people around, hoping someone looks at that nice person like they're nice. Or your girls will kill you for their troubles. And everybody else. They will. You big dogs can bark loud, they can bark a lot. They will kill you for their troubles. So here another Communist Canada breadline outside shoppers drug mart. That's dog shit on a stick. Starts acting sketchy, making you put up with it. That's all. It's like a kid with dog shit on a stick. That's all. You know, or what's up, what's up? It's dog shit on a stick. Just wants to force you, just wipes its face. You don't speak English to it anymore. Starts fucking spazzing out. It's dog shit on a stick. You don't can't do anything with it anymore. They'll start wiping and scratching. It's like dog shit on a stick. They just try to trick you into looking at something you're not going to like. Like dog shit on a stick. That's all it is. You don't have to be dog shit on a stick. It's dog shit on a stick. You try to use English with it. You can't. It starts acting sketchy. And then it does force strangers to look at it. People that knows are happy it's not bothering them. It's bothering strangers instead. It's garbage. Well, that's a relatively small communist Canada bread line, or drug line, whatever. That's dog shit on a stick. That's, that's what it does when you talk. It acts sketchy so you can't talk. Then it tries to force strangers to see it look ugly and run away. It's like dog shit on a stick. 
little kid stucks a stick in some dog shit and it runs near people and tries to force them to look at it. So, do not be dog shit on a stick. I do not let dog shit on a stick bother nice people where you live. Otherwise, they'll be dog shit on a stick. That's all that happens. People you know are happy you're not bothering them. You're bothering strangers instead. Otherwise, who the fuck has time for that in Toronto? Bothering strangers, being bothered by strangers. That's how you spend your fucking free time. Couple of mentally ill people, okay. We've seen it here before. Couple of mentally ill people, okay. But it's dog shit on a stick. This dog shit on a stick, no one wants to look at anymore. So this dog shit follows nice people around, trying to trick them into looking at it look like dog shit. Someone's gonna look at this nice person. If I follow him for a fucking few blocks, then eventually someone's gonna say hi to him. Then I'll trick him to see me look ugly, like dog shit on a stick. That's all it fucking is. Oh, excuse me. Ah, pick. Thanks. Uh, that's dog shit on a stick. That's dog shit on a stick. I use English and start touching its head and face and wiping and scratching, making you put up with it. It's dog shit on a stick. That's all it is. This is a joke. Fucking dog shit. Hey, hey, put up with it. You're not going to like it. Like a kid with dog shit on a stick forced you to look at it. It's all that fucking sketchy garbage is. You turn to dog shit on a stick. People you know are happy you're not dog shit on a stick near them. Better to be dog shit on a stick near strangers. Now a couple of poor mentally ill people, excuse me, not normal mentally ill people you can show and get respect with, but the poor sketchy crazy kind that make everyone too uncomfortable to do anything with, that's okay. You politely ignore them and they, they finish shaking and run away. Didn't bother them, didn't bother you. Don't bother them back, don't bother anybody else. A Canadian Fight Club, give us less assholes and more donuts or give us death. You want less assholes to deal with more donuts, don't you, officer? Damn right you do. Just like the rest of us. That's all. Excuse me. Like Patrick Henry in America, give me liberty or give me death. We're not Americans, we're polite Canadians. Give us less assholes to deal with and more donuts to eat or give us death. That's right. Less rude, lying, bitchy, sketchy assholes to deal with and more donuts to eat. To make money. To have an abundance economy. Not big box communism. Where everything's short of everything. We all got to be scared. We all got to shut up. And CBC News is saying, don't listen to Dad. He's got different ideas about this. He might be a little weird. We're all in this together. Shut up. And what's Dad going to do? Wipe his nose, look at his toes, and make you? No, listen to him anyway. Or if he's a man, you going to be a man or a woman? It's fine. You got to watch for this dog shit on a stick. This dog shit on a stick. No one wants to look at this dog shit on a stick. So this dog shit on a stick will follow nice people around, like nice girls, even though this dog shit is much bigger. They just show and get respect and keep it moving out of the way and on the way. But instead, this dog shit on a stick will follow someone much smaller around. And then when somebody's, uh, someone's going to say, look at this nice person, they're going to look at him. They're going to look at him. They're nice. They're going to say hello. And as soon as they do, gotcha, dog shit on a stick. Force you to put up with this. Force you to see his shit. That's what that dog shit on a stick, excuse me. Dog shit on a stick does. Dog shit on a stick. Can't use English with it. it starts passing out. That's dog shit on a stick. It tries to force or trick you into looking at shit you're not gonna like. Like a kid with dog shit on a stick. He just wants to do that. He just wants to force you to put up with it. No one wants to look at it. It'll follow nice people around. And it'll be like, okay, let me follow this nice person around. Somebody's probably going to look at this nice person and say hello. As soon as they do, dog shit on a stick. Dog shit on a stick. Got you. Root sketchy. Dog shit on a stick. That's all. It's his fucking life. People with nose are happy it's bothering strangers instead of them. Excuse me. You help people stop. Polite Canadians. Not dog shit on a stick. Bothering polite Canadians and making them dog shit on a stick. It's just dog shit on a stick. Nobody wants to look at it or do anything with it anymore. And then it runs around like dog shit on a stick near strangers. You're not going to like this. Got you, dog shit on a stick. Hey, they just force you to look at it. Hey, you're not going to like this. But dog shit on a stick got you, force you to look at it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's life is being dog shit on a stick. Not a polite Canadian man or woman or child showing and getting respect. They say, hey, you're not going to like this. Hey, yeah, nobody does. Hey, you're not going to like this. Nobody does. 
That's its life now. Dog shit on a stick bothering people. You men make sure you keep your self-respect. You don't lose yours by being a mess while someone's impotent or impotent while someone's a mess. You help everybody have it. Other men, women, and kids. You keep an eye on things because when people are nicer in a crisis and they want to get along in case they need each other, then you'll have zombies who try and bother them and make them zombies or follow them around and trick people to looking at them look ugly because they're like dog shit on a stick no one wants to look at anymore. And they think, well, maybe you'll say hi to this nice person. And then, oh, as soon as you say hi to this nice person, that dog shit on a stick got you, got you, before you just see me look sketchy, ugly, huh? That's all. Garbage. General Morgan the Canadian Fight Club. Give us less assholes and more donuts, or give us death. It's like the cops. We want less assholes to deal with, more donuts to eat. Not more assholes in public. Can't stop assholes in power. And less donuts in Communist Canada. For everyone. It's all rationed. Because everything else is closed. You get a welfare check, and the government owns your business and your house and everything else. You pay 600 bucks out of 1200 for rent. And then you use 300 for food, and that's it. It's dog shit on a stick. You try and use English here. See what it does. Sketchy, yeah, 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 nobody does it anymore. I do it near strangers. It's dog shit on a stick. Excuse me. Force people to put up with it. Or people respect each other. They just show and get it and keep it. You want to talk about what you're all sketchy and fucked up about? It's not that fucking hard. Excuse me. What the hell could it possibly be? Just some fucking stupid garbage fucking fix in 30 seconds. He didn't make sure you couldn't do anything else. Excuse me. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, my business. Okay. Well, you decide. Don't turn to dog shit on a stick with people you know. Force them to put up with shit they don't like. Rude, sketchy garbage. And then dog shit on a stick. Gotta barely force strangers to look at it. Fucking garbage. Excuse me. That's what people turn into. Don't torture people with how you feel by being a rude, sketchy mess. Share it and keep it moving. You want to talk about it? You're able to. You bother people. You know, it doesn't matter if you feel sorry for yourself. Who gives a shit if you bother people? So what? Go up to a Canadian, pick your nose, put your finger in his beer, and then fucking see how he feels. I feel sorry I did that. I picked my nose, put my finger in your beer, but I do feel bad about it. Go fuck yourself. We don't give a shit about each other when they bother each other. That's why they wander around bother strangers. They're like getting along talking to each other. Fucking garbage. Do not let your kids, family, and friends be happy you're bothering strangers instead of them. It's all that fucking happens. It's fucking garbage. It's not about me being an obnoxious asshole around a bunch of lying bitches begging to be broken who like being ignored or shit on and want to stop by getting millions on HD video over the last few years and thousands over the last few weeks since this corona crap kicked off. And I'm super, they're otherwise they're super nice to me. Super nice. Do you think I'm an asshole? Fuck no. What are you going to do? Yeah, what's up? What's up? I'm going to fuck with you. That's the point. Do not talk about Fight Club in mixed company or mixed up company. Otherwise, do talk about Fight Club. Do talk about stuff. The girls don't mind. They're like men who can talk. It's not to them. You and, and three, four other couples are having dinner. You're all fucking small talk. And then the girls look at the photo album. And the guys go in the backyard, smoke cigars. Blah, 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 blah. Trudeau this, fuck this, that, blah, 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 blah. The girls know. They hear it. The girls come over. Hey, guys, how you doing? Oh, we're good, honey. What's going on? Oh, you guys want some coffee? We're going to sober up and leave in like an hour. Like, okay, sure, honey. She goes back inside. You guys, blah, 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 blah. Not wipe your nose, look at your toes. Wipe your nose, look at your toes. Can't look at each other. Go bother somebody else. No. No. Because people are super nice to me. They say I got the balls to do shit and the discipline to know when to and when not to. Just like you. Fucking people who agree. We're very close to destroying this country. There's too many assholes and they're not letting us have enough donuts. We want less assholes and more donuts. It's a rude, sketchy zombie. It just tries to force you to see it look ugly when you talk to it. You don't want to talk to it anymore. It tries to force strangers to see it look ugly. It's garbage. Excuse me. I don't really take your respect either. Do I get it? Fucking keep it. Fuck off. Make sure I do the same. Idiot. 
All good. I don't want to lie to you, sweetie. Yep. Oh, good. Now we're both relaxing, you know your fucking business. When one of us is a rude, sketchy asshole, making sure no one can have any donuts anymore in this fucking country, and it's everybody's business to stop it. Oh, it is what it is. Now people want to be nicer in this crisis. And zombies want to attack nice people. You stop your family and friends from being zombies. Rude and sketchy back and forth. Oh, sure. You do a little sketchy. I'll do a little nose picking. I'll do a little scratching. I'll touch my head. Wipe my face. I'll get worked up. Bother you back. Can't really be nice to you. Look at talk to you anymore. The problem with zombies is that they just make their family and friends into zombies. And they can't do anything with zombies. And they have to go bother strangers. Look for nice people to make them zombies. Hey, put up with me. No, you put up with me. Okay, now. Can't do anything with each other. Let's go force them to put up with us. Yeah. That's an act of treason in Canada. Treason. 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 Do not let Canadians be polite. It's an act of treason. It's an act of treason. Do not let people in Canada be busy, or happy, or nice, or look at, or talk to anybody. Because some rude, sketchy zombie won't let you. Go to Italy. Try and stop them speaking Italian. Eh, hey, buongiorno, principessa. Put up with me, can't do that anymore. I don't know. Can't speak Italian in Italy anymore. <laughs> Fuck you. I want to enjoy my spaghetti. No, fuck you, rude sketchy. No more enjoying spaghetti or anything else. Ah. It's fucking garbage. It's treasonous trash. And you all know. And you all agree. You might think, well, whatever, buddy. I got to act rude and sketchy with this rude sketchy mess. No, you don't. You don't. You don't like it. I've asked other Canadians. I've had rude sketchy mess shaking near me. I've had 50 people nearby. I'm like, any of you want to enjoy this? If this is cool with strangers, just put up your hand. Put up your hand, I'll send them over. It's not my ugly ass wife. I have no business being impotent while this is a mess. We're trying to fix it. Any of you want to enjoy this? No? Nobody wants to enjoy it. They look at you like a cat you sprayed with a squirt gun. Shh. Ah! No! Don't send them over here to be a rude, sketchy mess with me. Nobody likes it. Why do you have to force people to put up with it? Like your dog shit on a stick. Like some little kid stuck a stick in dog poo and runs near people. You're not gonna like this, got you! You're not gonna like this, got you! You're not gonna like this, got you! That's all that fucking happens. So it is what it is. Excuse me. It's dog shit on a stick. That dog shit zombie will follow around nice people trying to force it to see it look ugly. That's what that dog shit does. That dog shit zombie... Does, nobody wants to look at that dog shit zombie. But if it follows a nice person around, maybe someone will say hi to that nice person. Now someone's going to look... No one's looking at me. But someone might look at you. And then, as soon as they look at you, nice person, how far is this scene look ugly? I'm a nice person. Spaz out, sketchy, bother them. You gotta keep an eye on that. You gotta try to help people you know stop. You gotta keep an eye on the public. Well, as you will have a lot of nice people that want to be nicer in a crisis. And you have a lot of zombies that try and follow them around going, no one wants to see this rude, sketchy, ugly shit. But if I follow this nice person around and somebody looks at them because they're nice and says hi, I'll start wiping and scratching and spazzing out and forcing them to look at me. That's all they fucking do. And welcome to Canadian Fight Club. Check out manforce.com for more if you want. But it's for you. It's how you feel about it. Millions of you on HD video over the last few years. And not even me saying anything. I sit there on Bay Street with my laptop and webcam, headphones on, reading my phone. Hundreds of Bay Street zombies run up shaking near me and run away while I ignore it. They just run up shaking by the hundreds. That's what they do for fun at lunch. Two hours. Just run up, whoa, whoa, there's a man over there. Well, what if I can be his pretend bitchy sketchy girlfriend who uh, he's not going to uh, pay attention to or bother? Whoa, 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 better what usually happens. Doing nothing. Sitting there, laptop, webcam open, not hiding it, no spy cam. Everyone knows exactly what I'm up to or just fucking saying it. Just fucking saying it. There's no fucking disagreement. There's no issue. There's no issue. You don't run away from me like I'm crazy? Uh, you're wrong. You're crazy. I got a blade. I'll cut you all. Whoa. Get away from that guy. No. I'm the only one making sense of this garbage. It's time for you to start. You show and get respect. Don't make people put up with you. Or they'll never be able to do anything with you again. Anyway. You got to talk about Fight Club in mixed or mixed up company. Otherwise you do. Otherwise you're shit. But if you do, everyone respects you. They're having the balls to do something and the discipline to know when to and when not to. That's it. 
That's all you need. You and the wife and kids hanging out at a dinner party, make small talk. You guys go to the basement, you go to the backyard, make big talk. They don't care, they like it. They come over, make small talk. They leave, make big talk. They don't care. You get drunk, have some beer, have some wine. End the dinner. Girls want to look at the photo album. Guys go to the backyard, smoke cigars. Make big talk. Girls come over, they like the big talk. They come over, small talk. Hey, how's it going, guys? Oh, good, honey, what is it? Oh, I'm going to make some coffee. We're probably going to leave in an hour, maybe get a little sober from all the wine and beer. Oh, it's great, honey. Thanks. And then go back to it. And the girls be, woo. You're not the same. You got shitty versions of them. Now, welcome to Canadian Fight Club. Give us donuts, less assholes and more donuts, or give us death. It's like the cops. You want less assholes to deal with and more donuts to eat. It's the Canadian way. It's like Patrick Henry's give me liberty or give me death, but more Canadian. The samurai got to work for the corrupt king. You got to do something about the corrupt king, but hopefully they do a good job anyway. The ronin, the masterless samurai, can do other stuff. Help an old lady cross the street. Stop from getting mugged from the groceries. Back the cops up with the fucking purge. No people going crazy. Crazier people going crazier. You can stop that. Offline, polite, patriotic manpower is an essential service. You don't believe me? I got 100 videos since March of 2020 since this garbage kicked off. You are one less asshole, making sure there are less assholes, and make sure we live in a country where we can have more donuts, and you are an essential service. You are a rude, lying, bitchy, sketchy, zombie asshole, making everyone else a rude, lying, bitchy, sketchy, zombie asshole, and you are garbage. Rude, lying, un-Canadian, treasonous trash. Will not let polite Canadians respect each other, communicate well, or teach kids to. That is a problem. Excuse me. If you have to trick people to see you act sketchy, when you use English, and they can't use English with you anymore, and that's all you do near strangers, and you're garbage. You're dog shit on a stick. It's like a kid put his fucking stick in dog shit, and then runs near people, try to force them to look at it. I got you! You're not gonna like this. Got you! Got you! I'm dog shit on a stick. That's what that fucking rude, sketchy shit is. It's dog shit on a stick. That's all it is. You don't want to turn to dog shit on a stick, so people you know are happy you're not bothering them, they're happy you're wandering around bothering strangers for half a second each, instead of sitting near them and bothering them for half an hour. That's all that happens. That's why people have all the time in the world to bother strangers. Why? Because they're not nice people they know, so people they know can't be nice to them, they can't do anything. If you make someone a zombie, hey buddy, wipe my nose, look at my toes, don't say anything. Oh, wipe my nose, look at my toes, don't say anything. No, you're just impotent while I'm a mess, like a pretend ugly wife or girlfriend. Ugh. Then what? Then what? Okay, I can't look at that shit, it's fucking gross. Fine, I'll wipe my nose with my toes too, uh, whatever. Then what? Two zombies can't do shit. Except wander around and look for nice people to make it as zombies. That's all. So it is what it is. Excuse me. You're not rude, lying, sketchy, un-Canadian trash. You're polite Canadians. You guys are straight up. A little nice to the girls, a little nice to you. If not, fuck them all. If they come back with something better, at least they'll have some human being to come back to. It's a man who's still a man, it's a woman who's still a woman. Not some zombie who's a zombie. You don't force people to put up with you and then feel sorry for yourself because nobody gives a shit about you. If you bother people and feel sorry for yourself. Excuse me, it's just garbage, it's dog shit. You use English near that, it starts wiping and scratching. That's dog shit on a stick. Now I force or trick you into looking at it. It's dog shit. You try and use English near it. You see what happens. Within 30 seconds, you just give up. Hey, how's it going? Hey, put up with me. Oh, never mind. How's it going? Fuck, go bother strangers. Yuck. That's all that happens. Just dog shit on a stick. Tricking people into looking at it. And when there's nothing else you want to do with it, that's its fucking life. And welcome to Canadian Fight Club. You men make sure you keep your self-respect. You don't lose yours bothering people while they're impotent. You don't lose your people impotent while people are bothering you. And you make sure it's not a normal thing to do where you live. You help other people, men stop, women and kids stop. Nobody likes it. I've tried to help them out. I've tried to help them out. I'm like, hey, this poor sketchy mess shaking near me. None of my business. Not my ugly mess to put up with or fix.